Hi Scorpio, I'm Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Miri and Buddy Advice on Facebook. This is your late, uh, reading for July 2019. You can see we've got a couple of new cards. We've got the Dog Tarot, the Cat Tarot and the Queen uh, Moon Oracle deck. Okay, that is this deck. And I will be giving you an affirmation or a mantra at the end of the reading. So stay with us and you can use that to relax or clear your mind. And to manifest. You can set the intention with the mantra or the affirmation. All right. Um, you've, we've also got the healing of the angels, the answer of the angels and the romance of the angels. So let's get started, Scorpio. You, in the first week, you have the magician. You've got all the talents within you to make your dreams and wishes and your goals come true. So go for it, sweeties. In the second week, you have the alpha male from Earth. So that's the king of pentacles. You will have the Midas touch. Anything that you do, it will turn to gold. It will bear, anything that you do will give you results, in other words. And the third week, you've got the two of swords, the two of sky. You can see that this is just representing the swords. Sky is air, so that's the air element, which is swords. You cannot find your balance, perhaps, and cannot see what is happening in front of you. Usually, this is um, depicted with a lady with two swords across her chest, so her emotional chakra and her heart chakra has closed off and can't find the balance, and she's blindfolded. So throw away those swords, I say, and take off the blindfold, then you can make a choice and see what's happening around you, and then you can make decisions and find the balance back. So do that in this case as well. In the fourth week, you've got the uh, puppy of fire and that means the page of fire you might be receiving news from a young person that could be um, a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo and they are bringing news to you in the fourth week this could be about a hobby or work because the staves that's fire represents creativity um, action which is work and um, logic and passion. Well, since you've got all the uh, talents or gifts to make your uh, dream come true and to start a new beginning, it's going to happen because you are, you've got the fire energy in this reading as well. You are taking action and you are going to celebrate your new beginning. You are so successful in the second week, you are actually seeing your boats coming in. So it's confirming that whatever you touch will turn to gold. Okay? He's got this is the king of earth, and whatever he touches will bear fruit. So you are actually literally seeing your boats coming in. You've got the three of staves. Once again, you've got another stave energy. So you have come into action the second week definitely and it is bearing fruit then you've got a clarification card on the two of sky the two of swords and you've got the um i've got the english word now justice no not justice <sighs> the name i forgot the name you've got judgment and judgment means you are rising from the dead. So there's usually Gabriel here, you can see a cat depicted in the stars that should represent uh, Archangel Gabriel that blows um, new life into the people that rise from the dead. That's this card. So it's a new beginning. You're getting a second chance, okay? So. In the fourth week, you have the Nine of Cups. Celebrations again. Don't drink too much, um, but your wish is also coming true. 
that's the two meanings to this card that I have. Don't party too much, but it means that you're celebrating all your successes and um, your wish has come true. So this is a wish card and that's a wish card and you're celebrating from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. And you might be receiving, and this is good news apparently because you're celebrating, okay? Well, you have found your balance. I don't, the angels have said balance is uh, very important. Like the magician, he knows how to find the balance because if you can find the balance, then you have the meter's touch and everything will be successful. Although in the fourth week, you might not see it. But the fruit will will come. Definitely in the second week, you can see things happening. Compromise if necessary, okay? Stay optimistic about your love life as well. If not your, your work or your professional life, also your love life. Positive thinking and and faith will bring you romance. And that's why I say I'll give you an informa uh, a mantra or an affirmation. Do your prayers, do your affirmations, stay positive, think positive and you'll attract. And that is what this card is. The super moon attraction. You will attract. And I think it's awesome these cards. It's, it, it, it looks, the moon looks like the world, the world is your oyster, and you have got the meters touch. Now I will read the definition of this one and give you the mantra. It is also number 44, which is a double number, and that is an angel number, and that is added up to an 8. So there again, 8 is the 8th the house, is power and finance. Woo, woo, and it goes and flows. Okay, attraction. You can be magnetic to others and attract the good things in life. You can repel what you no longer wish to attract. Be ready for opportunity. Avoid extremes that might cause negative imbalance in your body or mind. There again. Don't, don't go mad, like this king, he regretted it. The story is, this king helped the god, and the god said, you can have a wish. And he said, well, everything I touch, I want to turn to gold. And then his daughter came down in the morning, gave him a kiss, and she turned to gold. He was so upset, the king, that um, he went back to the god, and he said, can you reverse my wish? So the god felt sorry for him, and he did that, and he had his daughter back. So the, the point of the story is be careful of what you wish because you've got two wish cards um, because it can also bring you out of balance and you have to, the answer is from the angels, balance. So heal yourself with balance. You've got two cards stating balance. So, and now the third card, it also comes into this card. You need balance and not imbalance. And especially in your body okay and mind think of connections greater than yourself this is your mantra uh, Scorpio I can attract what I wish and repel what I do not I can attract what I wish and repel what I don't okay now I'm going to go a little bit further on about the meaning of the card and how it, it has become the meaning. A super moon is full moon. That is the closest distance from the earth in its revolutions. It is also referred to as a perigee moon. The super moon looks huge in the sky and being so close to the earth, it influences the oceans more than usual, causing more extreme tides than uh, are normal. These changes in gravity and force are certainly noticeable and for most people who follow the cycles of the moon and do magical workings aligned with them. It is the energy of supermoons that is most important 
if a normal full moon gives you an opportunity to have rocket powers under, inten under our intentions, a supermoon greatly magnifies this energy into supernova. If we are growing, we all want to attract experiences into our lives. This can be positive re uh, relationships, a lifestyle that suits us better. Well done. Okay. Clarity, love, prosperity, creativity, all this brilliant. Prosperity, creativity, the list goes on. Equally, equally we also pre perhaps wish to be able to repel experiences, get rid of them. We don't want them. It is important then to not just know what we want, but to be able to recognize what we don't. Attraction isn't just about what we accept, but also how we discern. Blindly attracting everything we think of into our lives rarely makes us happy, but being focused about it does. This card also suggests that we think globally for the whole. If you are making intentions on the supermoon, include one for the planet, for Mother Earth. And you've got Father Earth there. So think not only of yourself, but think of Father Earth. The, co the companion stone or metal that you can use to manifest, manifest your um, affirmation could be magnetite. 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 It's like a magnet. And that will attract the supermoon's energy towards you and to make it realize your wish or your goal. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Scorpio, take care and please share the video with family, friends, acquaintances and colleagues and uh, please join me in the chat, uh, tea room, that's the chat room in the live sessions and come and get your free card or come and get your daily card again. Take care, please give me the thumbs up and then YouTube will know that uh, it's a nice channel to have a look at and keep us up in the ratings. Take care, God bless and be blessed. Have a beautiful July. Thank you.